Hi there, this is just to show you how you can use Inno Setup to uh, create a, a setup file from um, a Visual Basic 2012 uh, project. I've got here a simple project, uh, one form. When you run it, you get Click Me. When you click on Click Me, you get a dialog box that says Hello. That's all there is to it. Um, what do you need to do? Um, first of all, inside um, Visual Studio, click on uh, Build, um, build the project. Uh, you have to save the project first. Um, okay, I've got down here it says Build Succeeded. Then you go into the Inno Setup, run a Inno Setup, uh, create a new script file using Script Wizard. Uh, next, okay. These things are all self-explanatory. Uh, program files folder is where you want the files to be stored. Okay, and here's here's the bit you need to know about um, application main executable file. Browse here. Go into the the folder where you saved your project. So my project's called Tester. The program's called Say Hello. In there, you'll find um, bin. That's the folder you you need to go into. You go into the bin, and then there's debug and release. Go into debug. And this is where you've got what you need. So um, the Windows application one, this is the executable file that they've asked for. Um, and then also you need to add all any other files that are in that bin folder, that um, that debug folder. Uh, so if I click Add Files, here it is, bin debug uh, uh, add. Um, I'll just add all the, uh, the other files. So if I hold the shift key down like that, I've got all of them highlighted. They're all in there. And last time I did this, there was a folder in there as well with some more files in, so I added that folder. Um, to just, just add everything. Uh, next. The rest of it's all self explanatory. I think I need to set the output folder here as well. Um, I'll, I'll make a folder on the desktop. Call it uh, the setup. to compile the new script now? Yes. Do you like to save the script before compiling? I won't because I'm only doing this once but you probably want to save it in case you want to modify it. Okay. Um, and there's the setup file. So now if you run it you'll see it works. I've actually tried this running it on another computer just in case the setup was relying on some of the Visual Basic files installed on this computer and it works fine. It works fine on a, on a fresh new computer with no Visual Basic installation. There it is. So that's that. So, um, okay, hope that helps.